Hi there, this is Jay Thunder 12 and uh, actually I'm going to be showing you today how to replace the uh, single speed uh, uh, spur gear in the single speed gearbox of the Acme Attacker. This uh, also applies to all of the Acme cars which have a single speed gearbox and uh, later you will be seeing a video how to replace the uh, double gear, uh, the spur gear in the double gear, the two speed gearboxes as well. So uh, let's get started then shall we? So the tools you'll be needing is a uh, very simple fix, this one. Uh, you'll be needing the nose pliers here, some small ones. A flat uh, a Phillips screwdriver, a cross uh, end screwdriver. And also a 2mm uh, hex wrench or a 2mm allen key will also be okay as well. Right, so here is our gearbox uh, which we're going to replace. This is the uh, single speed uh, transmission out of the Acme Attacker uh, and also in the Condor, the Condor Pro, the uh, Consequida or the Monster T, also the Cyclone cars as well all have this same gearbox and spur gear inside. So uh, basically, uh, of course you can buy different gears on here to change the gear ratio, but basically in this situation this is a 44 tooth spur gear and uh, it basically needs replacing. So I'm actually not going to replace it today but I'm going to show you the procedures and steps of uh, how to actually replace it. So first thing is uh, you need to remove this casing here. Of course there's two sides. You have got this casing here uh, without the brakes and then you've got this casing here uh, with the brakes and the brake discs as well. So uh, you can do it from either side but of course if you do it from this side with the brakes, uh, you're actually making more work for yourself. So uh, flip it over, and I recommend to do it from this side. Now, in order to actually remove this casing, uh, you first need to remove this part here. Uh, this is the drive cup, and um, yep, you need to take this part off. Uh, in order to do so, you'll see uh, on part of the drive cup, there's like a little screw. It's actually called a grub screw uh, right here and uh, in order to remove this normally they are two millimeter hexes so uh, basically allow me to remove this one you can simply slide off your drive cup and uh, make sure you keep that one safe as well all right so now this part is off it's uh, easy to access the case and uh, you will see actually on the case there are the three screws sometimes there's four but in this Acme gearbox, there will be three screws. So uh, you need to remove these screws. Let's do it. There you are. <coughs> Once the screws have been removed, this is uh, easy. You can just slide off this casing on here. There you go. Now this case is off, uh, you can put that somewhere as well. Okay, so here is our spur gear. Uh, like I said, this is my favourite type of gearbox. It's just one gear in here, which is uh, nice and simple. Of course, with two speed cars, you will get more speed, but actually it's more complicated to replace the gears in that one. So you'll see that uh, one here on this shaft here, uh, actually we have got two E-clips. One is at the top, which sits just inside the casing and the other one is this one in here which actually holds uh, your spur gear on so uh, you need to remove both e-clips uh, they shoot off somewhere so you need to actually be very careful and get some pliers and simply pull them off once both of the e-clips have been removed you can actually slide your gear off of this shaft here. There you are, there is your spur gear. And uh, be very careful actually coming out in, which uh, slides just in this part here. So I would recommend to put it and leave it in that part there. Don't lose it and uh, put it safe somewhere. So you can use the old bracket actually, you can use the old bracket, and here is the bracket here. So in order to remove the bracket, you will see uh, three screws as well. These are quite short, uh, stubby screws. 
So very simply, you need to remove these screws, uh, which then you can take the bracket out and put that in your new uh, spur gear. There you go. Once these three screws are out, you can just take the bracket off. Uh, it actually slides right through. There you are. And here is the bracket. The old spur gear, uh, that is the thing that you can uh, throw away if you want. All right, so now our old spur gear is gone. Here is the new one. Uh, it doesn't matter which way round uh, you put it. So I'm just gonna slide it onto the bracket. Now you need to line it up with the screws and uh, put the bracket screws back in. Once the bracket is put back on again, actually now what you can do is take your uh, speed your gearbox and slide it on you'll see on this side of the bracket there is this part here where the pin slides into so you can slide the gear on push it on and get it to clip in you need to make sure the pin is fully over each side and then push it on there we go now this pin is in and you can check it's working properly like it should now you need to replace the e-clips the bottom one is easy the top one isn't and there you are then uh, basically once you have um, put the part back you've actually completed it you put the e-clips back all you have to do then is replace the casing and then replace the drive cup here and then not forgetting the grub screw remember do not over tighten this one and then just check there you go very good and uh, there you are you just fixed your um, your gearbox and actually remember that there is should be that little bit of play there which you can see that's okay that's fine